on today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Studio Series, number 62, Soundwave. And just taking a glance at this figure in the box, interesting. I got to say for the least. And here on the box art, we're just going to go over this real quick. We got Soundwave here in his satellite mode. And then we got Takara Tomy, Generations, Transformers, Soundwave there. Got the 62 up there. We got the box art there. Get a closer look at his face. Interesting. On the back of the box, it is going to be a 10 step transformation from robot mode to orbital espionage satellite mode. And on this side, we just got another nice box art of Soundwave here in satellite mode. Autobot logo. And that's going to be it. So, let's get this guy out of the box and see how awesome he is. So here I have Soundwave out of the box. And I have him in satellite mode. And i got to say, this figure looks very cool. I like how they have the, the dark gray. They have the silver. They have this light, like baby blue, painted on him for some nice detail there. I'm going to get close up with that in a moment. And they even gave him a stand. Cause I, was trying to, I was wondering, how is he going to be in satellite mode? You know, because he's not going to have his legs. So, that answered that question. So let's take a look here. We got the nice blue circular mold on his chest. Looks pretty neat. Got the blue down here. We got that silver molded detail as well. The face sculpt looks good. Got more silver up here and molded detail. I wish they would have painted this and this. This blue color here, that would have been a nice, nice touch there. But that's just minor things. On the back here, up on his parts of his satellite mode, he's got even more of that blue, which is really cool with the silver. It's a nice touch there. Let's take a look at that detail. Let's get up close. Very cool. And on the back of him, See, it, oh, and it does come through, so that's nice. That's a nice touch. And we'll come up over here and take a look. It's going to be the same thing. Very cool. And on the back of them, not much there. It's just all his, I guess you'd call this his backpack, but this is part of his mode. So I, I don't really see much extra kibble or anything with this figure. I think they did a pretty good job with it. I don't recommend this figure for like play value other than just sits there in this mode because without the stand he just he just does that doesn't do anything and this stands okay and there's the peg right there and it does come with like you can bend it and I'm in a different position but overall let's readjust them right there that's about it but I do like this mode I like it actually more then the robot mode. And now, let's take a look at that robot mode. Now, let's start the transformation. So, what you're going to do, it's real simple. Get rid of the stand. You don't need that for robot mode. That's just for satellite mode. So, what you're going to do, come around here. Just come around here and back. There's a tab right there. Untab that. I kind of can't see that, so we're just going to untab that one. So now after you got these untabbed, and here he goes, he's starting to fall apart again. And I'll explain why in a moment. So, get him straightened out, fold that. Same thing, do it over here, and there's a tab there for that hole. So, it's one for both. That's not an issue. So this piece right here, I'm going to show it right now. These two pegs are not really pegs. 
all they do is come down and lay in to this in between those two slots. They all connect, okay? So with that being up, it just sits there. This comes apart pretty easily. This doesn't, it sounds like a good click. It doesn't really hold it there. I've been going over this figure for quite a bit, trying to see how good it is, what problems there are, and I noticed this is a problem. There should have been like a another piece to tab in to lock this in, and there isn't. So, if you want to keep it in satellite mode with the display, that's not so bad. In robot mode, let's find out. Let's see how good he is. So we're going to continue the transformation. I just wanted to pretty much just stop the transformation for a moment and just show you that problem. Now, since this chest piece is already out, since I've showed you, this is where we're at. I haven't changed anything else. The legs are still kind of cockeyed and everything. Lift this up. On a hinge and everything, bring it around. So now you're going to see the front crotch area, and this is where his legs you can straighten them out now. So you have them like this. Now you're going to come down, get my fingers under here, just like this, thumb here, and you're going to hinge it, hinge it back like that, and you're going to come down. And I'll show you there's a hole right there for this tab. This, from what I've noticed, locks in for robot mode, and it won't come off. So you got to have to kind of come forward a little bit, get under it, and just bring it down. That'll lock him in. He's not going anywhere. I'm really trying to press to get this guy to pop his chest, and it's not going. Okay? And th these holes here under there like that, they stay there like that. So, now we got this thing. Just tuck that under just like that. And go under his armpit. Same goes for this one. Just like that. And let's just readjust that. Just had to line that up a little bit more. So here he has his feet. Now, turn his arms, bring them down, hand. Readjust this shoulder, bring them down, hand. Okay? This piece, from the instructions, is supposed to stay down. Um, I like it up. It's going to stay up. So, I think that looks better. So we're going to go with that. So, there's Soundwave in robot mode. So here we have Soundwave in robot mode. And it looks pretty good, I gotta say. Considering he didn't really have a robot mode in Revenge of the Fallen. But let's take a look at him, see how flexible he is. So he does have, uh, if he kind of adjusts his bicep, he can get his arm up there. Readjust and obviously bicep, swivel, elbow, no wrist articulation. His head is on a ball joint and he can do the full 360s there. Oh, now he's kind of, kind of, there we go. So I just want to make sure on that. He can go up and down, so he can nod. Good. That's pretty good. So every time Megatron asks him to do something, he just nods, yes. Okay, we do have a thigh swivel there. Do we have waist? No. The way this transformation is, you're not, you're, you got no waist. Oh, well, maybe a little bit, but you're locked in with this back piece. I'll just show you with the transformation when you flip them around the other way, when you turn them. So... He's got a little bit. He's got some wiggle room. Let's move this back just to make sure. Yeah, it's that piece blocking. So, not so bad. Uh, back to uh, knee bend. He's got a little over 90 degrees. Very good. Ankle, ankle tilt. Oh my god, we got a Studio Series figure with ankle tilt. This is the first one I've seen. And that's due to the transformation, so that's why we got that. That's very cool. Not bad. The only thing is the accessories. Since we got this stand for satellite mode, I would have preferred if we would have got a little, even if it didn't transform, a little mini Ravage. Little bot. Like how we got a Steel Jaw 
with Leadfoot. Something similar to that. And I know in the Dark of the Moon sound wave, he came with laser beak. So I don't understand why they couldn't just give us this and give us a Ravage. But, you know, just something I just thought of on the fly. But overall, he's not so bad. For play value, this would be the guy you want to throw around all over the place. But the satellite mode, that's on display only. That's what this is for. For the comparison, we have Target exclusive Leadfoot with Steel Jaw next to Transformers Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Satellite Soundwave. So that's the comparison. So my final thoughts. First, thank you, Frank Welker, for reprising your role as Soundwave in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Next, my thoughts on the satellite mode. If you're going to be, if you're a collector and you're going to display it on a shelf, it'll work out perfectly for you. But if you, if uh, like a child or something wants to play with this thing, this thing's going to fall apart and break. You're going to waste your money. Now, in robot mode though, it seems to hold, a lot, hold together a lot better. It locks in and you can shake that thing around and it won't come apart. So there are my thoughts on that. Overall, at best, this is an okay figure. 5 out of 10, maybe at best. And I'm a fan of Soundwave. But they didn't do this figure justice. One thing they did miss in the movie, he has those tentacles that come out and they latch onto, you know, the US satellites so he can spy on them and mobilize the Decepticons. I don't see any of that on this figure. And you could have done it. You could have gave us Ravage. You could have gave us those tentacles. Because and, and my idea for that is those tentacles, you, the figure top spin has those like rubbery looking guns. You could have attached a couple on there, painted them like this color or silver coming out from where they were. I think they came, I'm not even sure exactly where they came out. I think it was his back, maybe. And you could have had a couple just hanging off and, they, and they're just little rubbery things. They give us at least the gimmick of what he does as a satellite but like I said he's an okay figure I'm still happy I have him but he's no perfect figure that's it for the review I'll see you on the next one